No matter what you're going through in life, you can't change the beginning. But you can start where you're at right now and change the ending. Run in the drive! King E. 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 I like chicken. I like beef. I like spaghetti with a whole lot of meat. King E. Yes, sir. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Moment, aka King E. E. And today, you know what it is. You see the vibe, baby. Today, we got some breakfast yo's. We got some breakfast y'all's, y'all. We got some pancakes, scrambled eggs, bacon, and such. As a matter of fact, cue it. Yes, sir. Ski. How y'all day going? Yes, sir. Ski. Hold on. Blessings to everybody in their family today. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Welcome to Team EE's merch collection. We got Dewey EE. We got Face Mask EE. Mm-hmm. Face Mask EE. Ski mask, EE. -E. Everybody who be asking about how the stuff look, there you go. Mm-hmm. Bunny EE. -E. They go to Bunny. That's Bunny EE. -E. Huh? Alright. And a lot of y'all be asking about the t-shirts. A lot of y'all ask about my t-shirts. These are the t-shirts. These are the t-shirts, y'all. They stretch a lot. Look, this is a medium. Look how much it stretch. This is a medium. And it goes right back. It bounced back. Good quality. Everybody who wanted merch, y'all see the number right there. I love y'all. I forgot, didn't I? Let me get a thumb. Neasy. Thumbnail. I gotta get the food. Go ahead, lock in on it. Did you get it? You got it? Look like you got it. Oh, I'm gonna knock down that old in. I'm tripping, tripping. How y'all day going? Mm. Get down! Mm, mm, mm. Oh my god. Mmm. Y'all, I hope y'all, y'all had a taste for some pancakes. Mmm. Mmm. Let me know how y'all like y'all pancakes. Y'all like, y'all like pancakes? And y'all like waffles? Me personally? I'm a pancake guy. I'm mean, just being honest with you, I'm a pancake guy. The only pancake I like better than homemade pancakes is I have pancakes. Fight me! Fight me! Hmm? Fight me! Ain't nobody a pancake better than the I have pancake. Fight! I wanna fight right now. Can't tell me, I tell you. I'm being on. And, 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 and I hope I ain't smoked in this video. You have no breath in them, but that man being on. I'm that Johnny. That best man taking in the game. Hmm? Oh, they homemade, you know. Of course, you can't be homemade. You heard me home, ain't no way. Mm, mm, mm. I'm talking about no way how. Ain't there ain't no way possible you're gonna be that home, man. I'm just being honest with you. Yeah. 
Y'all know that figured out. I came up with a conclusion. Right? Y'all you know hear I me? Mean? And my dog. Let me buy this food right quick. And my dog, y'all you know hear I me? Mean? Oh, there we go. I have came up with a conclusion, right? I said, you know what? I say this time and time again, right? So, a lot of people that I know personally, I try to tell them, right? God not gonna God not gonna continue to bless you if you're not being grateful for what he not gonna bless you with. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. Well, I don't know what else to tell you. I ain't already told you. You have to be grateful. Well, what you are, oh, we going with it. You gonna take it up saying? I, I have to tell you that you have to be grateful for what you already got. There's no way he's gonna bless you with some more. I'm just being honest with you. I know what I'm saying. I tell y'all. I ain't telling you what I think. I tell you what I know. That's what I experienced myself. Hmm? I'm just going to explain myself. How am I going to that person? I was once him. That was once me. Hmm? Being ungrateful. Not thankful for what he already blessed me with. I was once he. I know it's hard to believe. Can he eat like you? Yeah, me. I wonder why I was doing everything right when I was getting blessed. Hmm? That's why. Let me tell y'all this. One of the biggest blessing blocks. It's a lack of gratitude. You gotta be grateful. Let me tell you how it is. one point, y'all. I was just about to give up. I was about to give up. I just felt like it just wasn't no point. I was on purpose for everything. But, how would you expect? They're just like, if somebody give you a pair of shoes, right? You ain't got no shoes. Hmm? You had her feet the concrete. You had her feet the concrete. Hmm? You know what the payment feels like? You ain't gonna beat the concrete you know what the payment feels like, right? They might give you a pair of shoes. You don't tell them. You don't like the color on the shoe. Uh -uh, I don't like this color. I'm straight, I don't like this color. What? Know what that mean? Do what gonna happen next time? Get what gonna happen when that person gets some more shoes? Guess who won't get a pearl? That next time? Oh yeah, y'all, y'all know I had to get that OJ. Oh, uh, ain't nothing like that OJ with a little slow in it. See, only my real or my day one gonna know what slow means. Ain't nothing like that OJ with a little slow. You know? So, 
Like I was saying, guess who not gonna get the guess who guess who not gonna get that next pair of shoes? You. Why? Cause you ungrateful. You ungrateful. You supposed to embrace that regular car. Hmm? Embrace it. And then you say, Lord have mercy. I right, go out here. I normally leave a boost off on this regular car outside. I hope the car crank up. Guess what? At one point, you were paying for that car. And you ain't have it. Now you can get it. You done got used to it, got a couple problems over, now you ain't great. Mm -mm. You know what you should say? I thank God for this car outside. Cause at one point I ain't had number these hush puppies on my feet. Hey, what? What? At one point all you had was them hush puppies. Hmm. Now you got a car got through problems. Now you ain't grateful. Lord, I hate this job. I hate coming here. I hate waking up. You got to go here. Get what, though? When you put that application in, you were praying you got that job. Now you can get, you can get used to it. Now, 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 now you're complaining every day. But you want, you want God to give another job. You ain't grateful for the one you got. Mm. Working just, working just, barely working enough for it just so they can't fire you. You ain't working hard. You working enough to not get fired. Mm. But you look, you want another job. You want me to give you another job so you can go on that job beside now. Yeah, you first get in there. I'm first coming there, first coming there, boy, you working good. Hmm? You always working in the place. And then what happens if you get in good, get a couple of shit, and you, you, you slack up? Mm-mm. You gotta be grateful. You gotta thank God. But where you at and what you got right now? I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you right here. This is a true statement right here now. I'm gonna tell you, drink, drink, I'm gonna drink, drink. With a little slow in. Is that OJ? Look. In the comments, if you know what slow mean, put it in the comments. I won't see who know. When I say nothing like that, OJ with a little slow in it. Won't come out. Somebody know. Uh, oh, excuse me. Somebody know exactly what I mean when I say a little slow. But, you know what I'm saying? I said, I heard somebody say, this guy complained about his life every day. Very ungrateful. All right? The ungrateful you can be, right? 
So one day, somebody came and had everybody throw their problems in a pile. Everybody, throw your problems in. Everybody threw their problems in, right? So, ah, had to take me another drink of drink. Get a little slow in them. So, everybody threw their problems in, right? So, after that, the guy told him, all right, go back and get your problems. Right? I did everybody threw their problems in. He told everybody to go back and get their problems. So what happened was the guy who was always complaining, been run grateful, he went back and get his problems. Get what? His problems weren't there no more. So he asked his friend. He said, hey, hey, I don't see my problems. My problems gone. Yeah, he said, you seen my problems? He said, no. He said, no, I don't see your problems. He said, it's only one set of problems now. He said, them, you got to give them, them your problems now. So he had to take somebody else's problems. Because somebody took his problems. Because guess what? The problem he had was way less than what the, the problems that somebody left for him. See, you don't realize how good you got it until you have to walk in somebody else's shoes, living somebody else, living somebody else's problems. Hey, that man, that man like was so messed up he couldn't take it. See, you have to be grateful for what you're going through. Because it can always be worse. You think you got it bad. You might do. You might do got it bad. But get what though? There's it's plenty of people out there that got it way worse than you. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you this. The problems you got, you better thank God for them. Because you don't want somebody else's problems. I'm just saying. There's a lot of people out here in the world that got a lot of stuff going on. And I'm making any kind of money. They'll trade places with you in a heartbeat. If they can give you their problems and take yours, you won't be able to deal with some of the problems these people got out here. So you gotta thank God that you got the little problems you got. Mm. And quit complaining and being ungrateful. As soon as God take that car away from you, you complain about it every day. Take that job away from you, you complain about it every day. You're going to be sick. You're going to wish you had that job back. You're going to wish you had that car, that regular car. And you take it from you. I'm just saying. Mm. But see, like I said though, I can say this because mm -mm. I can say that because I used to be that guy. I used to be the ungrateful guy. Complain about what I had and complain about what I didn't have. And 
It was just no satisfying people like that. And people wonder why they're not getting blessed. Hmm? Huh? That's why. I just told you. The lack of gratitude is the number one blessing blocker. Being ungrateful for what you have. You know what I know? I'm going to tell you what I know. And I'm going to tell you how I know this too. Because I was once one of these people. I used to wake up every day, right? I used to wake up every day, y'all. And I never told the most high thank you for waking me up. Never. I just used to think I'm just, I'm going to automatically wake up. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It don't work like that. If you Google... How many people woke, didn't wake up this morning on an average basis? Man, a scale. And not all these people have health problems. How many people are perfectly fine? Just God decided it was daytime. For every day you wake up, it's a blessing. You have to thank God for keeping you in the land of the living. He ain't done with you yet. You got another chance to get it right. It's something he wants you to do that you ain't did yet. Or you thank God. But when he's done with you, that's it. It's over. The curtain is closed. I'm going to be honest with you. But that was one of the biggest things I took for granted. Waking up. I never did. Now? Oh, man. I don't do that thing for waking me up. I think for waking everybody around me up. Because it's a blessing. It's a blessing, y'all. But. Go on to tell y'all today. If you look at what you got. You'll be satisfied. If you look at what you don't have, you'll never be satisfied. We have 18,000 subscribers. Y'all want to do it? I <laughs> want to will. Come on, man. 18,000 on the way to a me. Hmm? Huh? 18,000 are working for me. You know, his breakfast was everything. I'm dropping this today, too. So we're on a Sunday. Yes, sir, Steve. 
Somebody asked me to Can you, what, what, do you, what do you who do you listen to to motivate you? What do you read to motivate you? Well I listen to a lot of different people when it comes down to motivate me. Um uh, Eric Thomas Les Brown, Zig Zilla, Tom, uh, Tony Harris, and isn't that Tony Harris, I think? Steve. Um, that's a lot of different people. Um, but one of my favorite books, though, The Power of Positive Thinking by Norman Vincent Peale. Yeah, the Power of Positive Thinking. Oh, excuse me, by Norman Vincent Peale. When y'all really ready to change y'all mindset the way y'all think, that's a good book to start with. Uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. It's, it's, it's a couple of them, but don't, that's my main one. The Power of Positive Thinking by Norman Vincent P. I love y'all. When nobody told y'all today they love y'all, I love you. When nobody told you yesterday they love y'all, love you. When nobody told you in 2022 they love you. Can't eat What time it is? That's all I got. Ain't no more. Time is tight, that's the end of my show. So grab your hand, make a fist, listen to me, and remember this. I tell it to the hot, I tell it to the cold, I tell it to the young, I tell it to the old. Don't want no laughing, don't want no crying, and most of all, no signifying. I love y'all. I'm gonna eat out there! Eat! Everybody else? We the gang. Y'all gang gang. We're not the same. Yeah. Yeah.